We are back today with some more meal prep inspiration. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another meal prep video. My name is Kira, if you are new. And one word that I use vigorously is inspiration. And I love to share those words because one of my favorite things about sharing YouTube videos is being able to share things that I've learned or tips and tricks that someone else has taught me or I've watched and seen and be able to share it with somebody else and inspire them to go and try it themselves. So today I have some super easy meal prep for you guys. I literally love doing small little bits of meal prep every day. I can't do the full weekends through because I like to spend time with my kids and we're always busy doing things and I can't always do weekends full of meal prep. So I like to do little bits when I can and whatever I can to go ahead and set us up for success. So we're actually going to talk about first is lunches. So meal prepping lunches is so key because I prepare lunch for every member of my household. Now even my oldest is going to work and I'm preparing lunch for him there. So one of my things that I love to make is tuna. We're only going to use two cans of that tuna, but the mystery ingredient you guys is that diced up green apple. It adds a crunch like celery, but a tartness and it's still soft. That and a little bit of red onion with some garlic powder and mayo is the perfect tuna, I promise you. So uh, I had my husband dice the apple and the onion for me just the way he likes it because I know he's particular so I made him dice it up into super small pieces and then I used my kitchen mama can opener I got the bumblebee albacore white tuna in water my mom used to get the oil and I do feel like the oil has a little bit of extra flavor but it's obviously not as healthy but I did get the one in the water I drained it really well and then the key for my husband is this part right here being able to really get it super fine as fine as possible like break it up as much as you can so that it's not chunks uh, I add pepper here and garlic powder you guys can use it you know season as you would like some people season with salt I feel like mayo is salty so I don't add a whole bunch of salt and I'm not a huge salt person but season as you will with garlic and pepper and then add mayo to your desired wetness and then that's it you guys this will keep in the refrigerator for like four to five days but we eat it within a day or two it never stays that long all right I'm going to share with you rice crispy treats and you're probably like okay Kira really with the rice crispy treats in a meal prep like everybody knows how to make rice crispy treats right well I just recently learned a couple of tips and tricks exactly like I said things that I love to share with you guys that changed my life of rice krispies and one of them was vanilla have you guys ever added vanilla to a Rice Krispie treat? Because that is stinking new to me and it was a game changer. Now, one thing that they called for was like the mini marshmallows and I got this through Amazon Fresh like spontaneously and I ordered the big ones not really thinking. So it might have been even better had I had had the small ones. But uh, you're gonna go ahead and stick six tablespoons of butter in a saucepan. One thing that they did say is that melting the butter on the saucepan is a game changer as opposed to like how I normally do it where I shove like the butter and the marshmallows in a bowl and stick it in the microwave. So while that butter was melting, I stuck six cups of Rice Krispies into a bowl and then they said only add three quarters of your marshmallows. Save some reserved. And I was like, what? okay, we're going to give this a try. So I let it melt a little bit and then I added one nice tablespoon of vanilla and then I continued to work it on the stove until it was liquidy. And you could smell the vanilla just from that tablespoon. And I, it just blows my mind to me what one tablespoon of vanilla would do to change it. Now they tell you, add that extra quarter bag of marshmallows. So it would have been different right here if they were the little mini ones. And then you pour your hot mixture over those ones that are in there and mix. And so those ones melt, but they don't exactly melt, which is why I said like maybe the little ones would have been a little bit better, but you still get the concept when you press it in your hands because, oh, MG, you get it like helps keep it together It's because it's still kind of like it makes it ooey gooey like that's the best way to explain it. So I have a nine by 13 here that I just sprayed with a little bit of cooking spray. And then the key also is to 
put a little cooking spray on your hand because that is super sticky. So if you want to mold it into anything, spray your hand and look like nothing sticks to my hand at all. But I just firmly press it all the way around in all of the corners and then I put it off into the refrigerator for a little while and let it good and cool. And once it was done and it was cooled, then I just put a little bit of Valentine's Day sprinkles on it because I made this right before Valentine's Day. I've shared it already in the kids what's for lunch video. I have these little candy hearts I put on it, but holy cow, you guys, these were the best Rice Krispie treats I've ever had. Who knew that the order of the things and the steps that you make it and the little bit of vanilla would do to a Rice Krispie treat, like absolutely outstanding. So next up for our meal prep is an every plate video. This video is not sponsored, you guys. I just order their food because I literally love it for exactly times like this. So when I meal prepping lunches, like this is something that I chose because I know Jake loves it and I know that I love it. And this was something that I knew that this, I made this before he even got a job. This was just knowing that he didn't have school anymore and that this would be something I could make for us home. And it's a turkey and dirty rice meat mixture stuffed pepper. And so I just think that these are so easy. This is just a little bit of stock concentrate, but if you have your own stock at home, then you could recreate this. It's peppers, onions, aroma tomato, some ground turkey, some white jasmine rice, and then they use what ends up essentially just being a taco seasoning and they give you a small packet of sour cream but it says it's a red pepper crema but let's be honest it's like taco seasoning and a sour cream like you could recreate all this at home with ease without needing to order their kit and that's why I share it with you guys so I diced up my onion my tomato and I'm sharing with you my daughter who ate the tops of these peppers like she was standing there immediately soon as I cut them and she was was like oh yes give me all of the peppers she grabbed the onion dip and she went ahead and dunked the tops in so I cut and hollowed out our peppers I drizzled a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper and stuffed them in the oven at 400 degrees to start and get soft and then onto the stove with a little drizzle of olive oil I grounded our turkey meat and then once that was all ground up I went ahead and added in that onion and that tomato and stirred that all up and then now we're adding in our rice and that like taco seasoning, your stock concentrate and water. And you're basically just going to simmer this down until your rice is cooked. That's it, you guys. Who knew something like this flavorful was that easy? Like it literally was a one pan thing. Once the peppers were ready, I kind of overcooked them. They were definitely a little extra soft, but this made so much. I filled two peppers, filled what you could see all on the side of that container of, alongside of those peppers and a bowl. And I was able to top all of it with a little bit of this red pepper crema. I covered that. I ate that later on in the week and I was able to eat for lunch what was in that bowl. How do you beat that for $4.99? Like you just can't beat that per serving. So I love them for that. All right, we're gonna do some hard boiled eggs and I included this even though I include it all the time in meal prep videos because I've kind of transitioned away from using the Instant Pot for my boiling eggs. I used to tell everyone like, hey, that's the only way that I'll make mine and I just don't find and that it's working for me anymore. I don't really know. I like to boil water. Once it's boiling, I add the eggs in and for 12 minutes, I let them cook. Once they're done, you can just see I dumped them out in a strainer, refilled that same pot with cold water, put the eggs back in and put ice in it. Once the ice melts, I know they're ready to go. That's it. They are the easiest peel. I mean, the shell's fall right off. And I used to feel like my instant pot did that and it's not doing that anymore. For some reason, I just don't get it. Like whatever it is that I'm doing wrong, they're just not coming out the way I like them to be. So I peel them all in the same pot and then I go back and rinse them under the cold water. I lay them out to dry. And then once they're dried, I just put them in one of my like Rubbermaid Brilliance containers. One thing I do love to do is add some paper towel up top. I feel like it helps absorb all the moisture and it keeps them fresh. And while those were boiling, I used 
my fruit and veggie wash. This is by Veggie Aqua. I included this in my last meal prep video. Again, not sponsored, but I've loved this stuff, you guys. It's like ionized water. So all the dirt like sticks to this water when you're cleaning it. And I find that all I have to do is spray my fruit and veggies down and it cleans them so well. So that's all linked in my Amazon store if you want to go ahead and check it out. But I just washed my cherry tomatoes while my eggs were boiling. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to. That was just one day. That's all I did was eggs and tomatoes. So you don't always have to like overwhelm yourself just a little bit of what you can do when you have a moment. Same thing. This is another night and I just went ahead and cooked up some bacon. We were having Alice Springs chicken that night. You guys will see that in a future what's for dinner like the clip. Um, I have a whole video for it if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. But I, I needed the bacon for that. So I pre prepped it and put it in the fridge. And then now I'm cutting up a watermelon and I wanted to share this with you guys. I feel like not everybody cuts a watermelon like this, but it's super easy. If you just cut the top and the bottom off and then shave off the sides, you do need a really good knife. And my knives are linked in my Amazon store down below also, but with a good knife, you really can peel everything away. And then you can see I make these long strips. It works out perfect for my kids. They like it. It's like perfect finger food for them. And again, that goes in a Rubbermaid Brilliance container and off into the fridge. And then here's another one of my containers that I just layered with some paper towel. And then I put that leftover bacon into there and then off into the fridge. It went, like I said, for like sandwiches or salads, something like that. All right, one more every plate meal. Again, you guys, hashtag not sponsored, but this is probably my favorite meal by them by far. This is the creamy, cheesy corn bisque. I turned my girlfriend Jill onto this and she made it for her family, but she has lactose issues. And so she's able to do this entire thing lactose free because she buys all the ingredients. She's recreated it. She didn't have to get every plate. She just watched this video, bought the ingredients and then recreated created it. But all you need is some milk, some corn, you need some cream cheese, an onion, a garlic, you need some veggie stock, you need some shredded cheddar cheese, and then some sour cream, and they have a baguette for you here on the side. So you're going to go ahead and cut up your scallions, separating your greens from your whites. You're going to dice up your onion. You're going to dice up your garlic. And we're going to work in a pot on the stove first. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the whites and your onion sauteed until the whole house smells really yummy. And you can tell that they're all translucent. And then go ahead and add your garlic so that you you can smell again like soon as you hit garlic into the pot and it starts cooking you know you got it and then once that's done you're going to add a little bit of flour in there till it gets good and pasty and then once it gets pasty you're going to start working in that milk and then once that milk is incorporated in there then we're going to add in our veggie stock and our water and then you're going to add in the cream cheese once everything is kind of like boiled down that's really it the onion and the garlic and your milk and your water and your veggie stock cook for like 15 minutes and then you add the rest of the ingredients your corn your cream cheese and your shredded cheddar cheese off the range so it's like a 15 minute soup you cannot beat that once you've like stirred it all together I usually go ahead and get an immersion blender and I'll use the immersion blender to just kind of get everything like good and creamy and smooth but this is one of the most incredible incredible soups but we literally made it in 15 minutes like I when I first made it I didn't understand how all these things were going to come together like that but they just do and with a little bit of extra garlic and some butter you're able to use that baguette and make a garlic bread and I didn't really think that that would make such a difference but yo when you're done with this and you put a little bit of the sour cream on top and the green onions and then you toast up that baguette with the fresh garlic and buttered bread and you use that fresh garlic bread and you dunk it into that cheesy corn bisque with the green onions and the sour cream, it's like life changing. All right. And then, but the best part is this is meal prep for me. So I was able to separate it into two containers and I didn't toast the bread right away. I just got it set and ready and I cut it in half. And then I stuck half of the tops of the green onions, one package of that sour cream and one piece of bread in a bag. And then I did the same thing and I set it up. I was actually supposed to bring this with me when I went to 
Vanessa is a four hour little date and I forgot it so so sorry I ended up eating both of them so they didn't go bad but one was supposed to be for her because she said she would really like it she didn't think her family members would like it so I wanted her to try it with mine but the, you guys this is like one of the best things you need to make this recipe this cheesy corn bisque so easy 15 minutes delicious all right, we're going to finish off with whoopie pies today. I've had this in my pantry for almost a year, and it says this was the last like month and then it was going to expire. So I wanted to use it up and like, why not? The kids have been dying for it. And it's basically a giant homemade Oreo cookie. And all you need is what comes in there, a tablespoon of water, four tablespoons of butter that we're going to melt and one egg. So it seemed pretty simple. It comes with sprinkles and cookie crumbles and it comes with the icing and the packaged mix. So I went ahead and melted the butter and then that's it. Into a bowl, we're going to put that mix and add those ingredient. So once we add that mix into the bowl and we've added our melted butter, our egg, and our tablespoon of water, we're going to go ahead and mix that until it's like a dough consistency. And then the instructions say to make 12 two inch round balls. So you, being that these are sandwich cookies, this entire box only made six cookies. So we're a family of six, but it was going to be a pretty decadent dessert. Like I even sent one with the kids to school and they did not finish it. Both of them came home with half of it. They just nibbled on it just a little bit. But once I went ahead and rolled all the 12 balls, you're going to dip the top of them in the sprinkles and the cookie mixture and then put them on a cookie sheet and bake them for, it was 12 to 15 minutes. I did like 14 minutes on the 350 degrees. And once they were done, they came, they smelled so good. They smelled like brownie batter to me. It almost like essentially was like little mini brownie cookies. At least that's what it smelled like to me. I didn't eat it. I'm not a huge like cookies and cream fan. It was kind of like big and sweet. I am not a huge frosting fan. So this was definitely not for me at all. But once they cooled, I did my best to kind of match them up to size because you're going to make them a sandwich. So if they're not uniformed, then it's kind of hard to make them like perfect. But once the, I was able to match them up, I just filled them with frosting and I put, like I said, some in a sandwich bag for my little kids to take to school and the rest I just put in a Tupperware that the rest of the family completely devoured. Mom didn't get any. I gave mine up. Like I said, it was a little too sweet for me, but everybody said they really enjoyed them. So if you see that in the store, go ahead and pick it up. It definitely was a perfect treat. But all right, you guys, that's it for this times and meal prep video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. I do have some more meal prep that you guys are going to see in just a couple of days. I got a whole bunch of these eye design clear containers. I just saw someone on TikTok and it made me go on and buy all of this stuff on Amazon. And so I had them sent here and then now I have this whole big project that I want to take you guys into so while I was like refilling my refrigerator and restocking with juices and all that stuff uh, I meal prepped a little bit more so I made some dressings to share with you guys and we cleaned more produce and things like that and just kind of cleaned up and set the fridge with all these new things so you guys have that coming up in a couple of days so if you're excited about that hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you are new I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one bye